All right, maybe we're streaming now, maybe we're not. Okay, it says excellent connection and it's changed the view. So maybe we're streaming now. Okay, it's loading. Let's see if it's on the channel dashboard. This is a very impromptu stream, so it appears YouTube have changed things around. Here we go, we are now live. Oh, let me just mute that for you. Okay, I'm gonna send this here. Don't you hate in Discord how sometimes people name themselves everyone, so when you try to add everyone, it just comes up with them and then you have to tab down to the next name? It's really annoying. Well, anyway, sent that in the chat there. And, okay. Right, I need to catch up. Where are we at? Arrows. Oop, didn't spell that right. Here we go. And what has Paolini said? He's said, oh, and also let me know if the audio is okay because, you know, this is a very um, impromptu stream. It looks like my audio is maxing out. I'm just going to turn it down a bit. Yeah, let me know if that's okay. And it looks like the OBS Discord embed is also a bit broken. It's saying object, object for all our usernames. Trying to fix that. Okay. Okay, and awesome, the audio seems fine. So if you people in Discord have any questions for Mr. Christopher, uh, please do let us know. Anyway. So Chris says, the walls, the gates, the canals, it's recognizable. That's the best we can hope for. He recognizes that this is Arrows. Okay, now I can just focus on the tour now. Whew, this is rather exciting for me. We've been waiting for this moment for, I don't know, when did we start in Celtic Asia? It's um, 2012, end of 2012, probably around September 2012 is when we started. And, you know, I guess it was always a dream that maybe one day Christopher Palini would explore the world in Minecraft. And now he's here. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, his in-game name is Hringma. Not exactly sure how to pronounce that. Maybe it could be a character name in a future book or something. Uh, everyone, who is the person I referenced before, uh, asks, is this the first time Pelini has visited MCL Agasia? And yes, it is the first time. Uh, Christopher says, I don't build a lot in my world because I mainly focus on farms. I don't know if anyone's seen his recent tweets, but he's made some cool sugarcane farms and automation in his uh, single player survival world. Pretty cool. Um, and of course, it would be awesome if Christopher built something on MCL Agasia. So I'm going to offer So Galvany was a project started by Hotline101, uh, who's been uh, away a bit with his other life commitments, but this is possibly one of the biggest 
cities we have on MCLG Asia. Like this is a small section of it here. And Discord has gone back to saying object object in all the usernames. It's a common problem with these Discord things. It's quite annoying, really. Let me try to fix that again. There you go, Dark Rebel Dragon, just asked a question. There you go, Dark Rebel Dragon. So he does some experimentation for his farms, but mostly just from YouTube. I guess, as he said, he doesn't have the time to experiment around with being a redstone engineer with all the books he's writing. Yeah, when I saw he was tweeting about Minecraft, I knew I had to jump on this opportunity since he was, uh, you know, right right there playing Minecraft, I thought, okay, it's, you know, one small step to get him across to the server. And it all worked out. Slightly laggy. I'm not sure if that's my internet or the server with the number of players that we have on at the moment. Oh no, it's not the server. Oh, this is this is good. Christopher says, okay, I don't know if I can explain how much I love this place. I'm just going to share that quote with Discord. This really means a lot to me and to all the staff. Glowing rock. I don't remember the glowing rock. Let's see if they found it. Who was talking about it? Uh, yes, for Scotland. Ah, you know, it's probably because I'm streaming. My internet is taking a bit of a shit, for lack of a better word. I mean, there probably is a better word, but I can't find it right now because I'm rather excited about this situation. Is this the glowing rock? No, it's a lamp. Thanks for joining us, Shameful Zebra. In fact, you might have already disconnected by the time my message sends. I don't like this. Let me close some applications that might be using my internet connection. For example, Mattermost. Goodbye, Mattermost. I will open you later. Slack. I don't need you right now. Discord. Unfortunately, I need to have Discord open. I can probably, probably don't need to be watching the stream at the moment. I'll close that as well. Cool, cool, cool. That looks a lot better.
Red Arrow 646 says, My next semester starts tomorrow morning and it's getting pretty late, but this is more important. Well, firstly, I would agree that this might be more important, but you know, your education is also important, so uh, we will have the live stream archived on the YouTube channel, so you'll be able to watch it when it's uh, all encoded after the fact. If it comes to that, of course. Uh, Floof asks, wait, Chris himself is here? Whoa, yes, Chris himself is here. And as you can probably tell, I'm rather excited. And now several people are typing, you know, dis Discord meme. Uh, Floof asks, may I ask Chris a question? Yes, of course you can ask Chris a question. Just leave it in Discord and I will try to uh, ask him at some point. And apparently Christopher is also recording or taking pictures or something for... Um, Probably for shirtagle.com or maybe for palini.net, and that'll probably come later. Uh, Sam says Moria, anyone? And actually, yes, Christopher himself says Moria. Uh, where was it? Something about it rivals Moria. There it is, this rivals Moria. Ah yes, the watchtower. And the entrance is just over here, I believe. Maybe. Uh, Dark Rebel Dragon asks, where are you? I can't seem to put a name on it. This is Galfney. It's not actually visited in the inheritance cycle, so most of this we just made up. And Sam also asks, any ideas what the giant floating glowing rock is chained to the wall. If you're talking about these rocks, they're just lanterns. If you're talking about another rock, I'm not too sure what it is. Uh, and Floof has their question ready regarding the Grey Fog. We are told that there is someone in the series who is a descendant of the Grey Fog, but we don't know who. May we know who it is that draws descent from them? Um, I'm going to answer for you. It's probably going to be no comment, um, but I'll ask just in case. You never know. Uh, common theories would be Angela. <laughs> okay, so Christopher's official answer is no comment. So we are now in Trondheim. Uh, this is the top of the Star Sapphire. If we go underneath, we can see the rose shape it has. And we're actually pretty happy with this. I'm not sure about the sand, actually. We might change that to something that looks a bit more gemstone-like, but the shape is 
fantastic for such a small space. I can't remember who made it. Let's see if I can find out. So, um, Fathom Dur is a pretty intensive location because the chunks are pretty much full of stone. If I just go back up here. You know, when you usually play, play Minecraft, you just have sky above you. But in this case, you've got huge, like, loads of stone that you have to render as well. Um, but one of our developers, Alex, is hopeful that he can improve some of the, like, improve the render distance and speed of the game, since there's a lot of stuff we can probably strip out. Uh, for the purposes of Arcana, which is the game that we're building here. The game that will use the MC Allegation map, and it will be an inheritance cycle-based, massively multiplayer online role-playing game. I have been neglecting Discord for a bit, so let's go back to Discord. <laughs> just Squidden says, Angela's race is Angela. I'm not sure if you're Just Squidden there, or if that's the actual answer, but it's a good one anyway. Red Arrow 646 says, question to Chris, how does he feel viewing this world from a first person perspective like this? I can only imagine it feels amazing. I will ask him. Uh, MDN Wolf says, uh, I think we do actually have a throne room, but it's a meme. Yeah. So there's a there's a running joke where people where staff on the server make shrines to me. So this is one such example. Ye fine oriental tapestry. Bow before him, ye lowly common folk. King four score <laughs> King ninety nine creeper heart. Heed mine word, ye morty lay, mortal layfolk, lest ye be stricken down. My mind, mighty sword, thou may needst be so foolish. However, oi, get out of the way. However, I shan't manifest such a notion as my arms hath vanished under mysterious cir. Oh yeah, I have no arms there. My arms have vanished under mysterious circumstances. I shall make haste to regain my limbs, but why? But in the meanwhile, heed mine words. You comfy chair. Uh, Christopher has not answered the question, but I think this whole chat is probably an answer to the question. I've sent a few snippets in chat. Um, like he said things like, okay, I don't know if I can explain how much I love this place. Or he's also said, uh, the priests of Hellgrind approve, talking about the uh, cathedral in Drasleona, and various other... Oh yeah, here's, here's the answer to the question. So, to answer the question, it feels like a dream, a little dream, as if I'm inside my own head from years ago. It's strange and awesome and wonderful. There's a lot to type. Ah, uh, what what is the city I'm thinking about? I've forgot. I've temporarily forgotten its name. Anyway, it's a city in Mtelagasia that 
doesn't really fit the description in the books uh, and we should probably redo it. Um, what's, ah, it's TM. So I haven't been, I haven't actually been looking at the YouTube chat. Uh, if you want to talk to us, I would recommend Discord because I'm just keeping YouTube closed to so I can keep my bandwidth for the stream. But I will open it up every now and then, and there are a couple of questions. Swordex asks, when 1.17 comes out, are you going to update the project? And if so, would you increase the height of things like Chongjin? So we are going to update to 1.17. Usually we try to keep up to date with Minecraft, so when there's a new update will be up to date in a few weeks. But we won't be increasing the height limit because to do so would mean repainting the entire map and it's already taken us, what, uh, eight years to get to this point? This isn't the original map, of course. We've probably spent about four years on this map, but we don't really want to start again if we would be able to avoid that. I think the scale in this version of the map is pretty good. Uh, it takes like quite a while to walk from one side to the other or between cities. And of course, the render distance is also an issue. So, for example, if I come out of um, Father and Der here and you're down, say, at the waterfall, um, wherever that is, uh, it's over here you can't see to the top of the volcano. Anyway, I'm closing YouTube chat again to dedicate more bandwidth to the, to the stream, so please join us on Discord if you have any questions, and I'll be answering those. Uh, can you imagine how big a one-to-one -one scale Tron Gene would be like? Yikes. So I wonder where we're going to go next. Uh, if anyone wants to join us online, the IP is play.mcellagage.com. I'll type it in, ta in chat. Play. Oh, that's a slash. Don't use slashes. Use dots, please. Play.mcellagage.com. And uh, at the moment, we're set up so that premium players can join the staff build server because we're still building. So that's why we don't. Uh, generally want to fill up the server with people who just want to explore. So it's only open to premium players and staff at the moment. You can apply to become a staff member to help build 
on our public build server and or if you want to just jump on right now you could visit nclagasia.com slash shop and purchase just the cheapest premium package you want and that money all goes to the to support the server so we can stay on until we finish building the map and your support is greatly appreciated Uh, so, Discord chat, what location should we visit next? Uh, we've been to Carver Hall, Ella's Mirror, Drasleona, Arrows, and um, I don't think anything else except Father Ndur and Sean Jaim. So let us know and we'll visit one of your suggestions. Uh, Floof asks in Discord um, a about dragon anatomy. So many people, when they write fiction, have dragons with two legs. I believe that's actually a call, actually called a vern or wavern. Not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but it's not technically a dragon. I can still ask Chris if you like. But yeah, dragons have four legs. It's something else entirely that's two legs, and anyone who calls a dragon with two legs a dragon is incorrect. So let me know if you still want to ask, but that's the answer. Uh, Sirius says, what about TM? We could visit TM, it's just not very accurate to Palini's vision. Um, I think Avaron is a good place to visit because this is pretty close to Palini's description. It has, I mean, technically two concentric walls, but you could call that wall a third wall, the wall around the castle itself. And it's sitting on a bluff as well. Discord. That one anime fan asks in Discord, do you have any Fork Witch Worm locations built? Not the moment. We haven't extended Um, we haven't extended the map out yet to where um, the Fork Witch and the Worm takes place.
Floof, you also mentioned if there is another TV adaptation, but there hasn't been a TV adaptation. Spiritus, hello. Yes, we do remember you. Uh, and thanks. Thanks very much. Uh, so, Floof, to answer your question, Christopher says, I like four legs and two wings. To me, that's a classical dragon. Plus, I like to keep the elements that help my dragon stand out from the others. <laughs> and then Just Squidden on Discord says, Sophia would be very upset if she only had two legs. Angela's shop is, might be this one. Hello, title screen. Where is Angela's shop? Loom shop. Carpentry shop. Flying a bit too fast here. Okay. It's not that one. Oh, it might be this one. No, that's the alchemist shop. And that is a forge. And that is the bank. Ah, this one here. Angela the herbalist. Yeah, Chris found it. Uh, that one anime fan on Discord asks a while ago, have you built anything related to Vroengard? Yes, we have. We'll probably go there as well. That's pretty. That's a good location to visit. And, of course, Discord is messing up on the stream as well. We'll have to try and fix that at some point. So I can't remember what the warp is for that, because we didn't set a specific warp. 
um, TP74. Aha! How good am I? I can just remember out of all these terraforming project warps that we have, I just remembered. Yep, yeah, 74 is the crags of Tonia. All right, teleport to me, everyone. It's kind of northwest. Hello there. Okay, just opening up YouTube again. Um, Matthew Leach says, is this for real? And Matthew Carey, as well as myself, says, yeah, this is real. So I, um, Christopher Palini was talking today about his single-player Minecraft world, showing off some uh, rather fancy automated farms. We better add that to the list. Someone add it to the list. Um, yeah, so he was on Twitter posting pictures of, of his single player world, and then he mentioned that single player gets a bit lonely sometimes, so he doesn't play Minecraft all that often. So I said, well, why don't you come, al come along and check out Encelag Asia with some people? And uh, 10 minutes later, he said that he DM'd me, and then I was like, Okay, I'd better get home and jump on my computer. You know, opportunities like this don't come don't come around often. We've been building MCL Agaja since 2012. We've been on this iteration of the map since about 2015, and this is the first time that Christopher has joined the server. Of course, he's seen us around on Twitter and YouTube every now and then, but this is the first time he's been in game and being able to uh, interact with the world that he created. Uh, Red Arrows 646 on Discord says, a question for you 99, how are you feeling right about now? Well, I don't know if I'm making much sense actually, but I'm very excited. This is, as Shadow says, we feel honoured to have Christopher here. It's amazing. Uh, there are no other questions on YouTube, so I'll just mention, if you do want to ask questions, it's probably best to ask them in Discord, because I'm going to have YouTube closed when I'm not answering questions, just because I want to dedicate more of my internet bandwidth, my Australian NBN internet bandwidth, to the stream. Ah, it looks like they're removing some trees here. And there's Christopher contributing to MC Allegasia. Wow. Press F1, get to some cinematic. Oop, didn't mean to take that screenshot. 
exist34 says, how much were you speeding trying to get home? Uh, I'm not going to incriminate myself on the internet. But no, nah, it, it's not actually a long drive. So I told Christopher I'll be home in half an hour and then I was home in 15 minutes, which is about what it takes to get home anyway. So I was not speeding. Or if I was, I wouldn't say so. Uh, Sammy the Sheep says, Christopher, do you have any advice for young writers? I'd really appreciate some. Uh, I will ask him. Although, have you seen Christopher Paninini's crispy writing tips? Uh, so Christopher Payne he has a YouTube channel where he has, um, he, every now and then he posts various things, but he also has recently started posting tips for new writers and he calls them crispy tips. Uh, and Christopher's answer is outline, outline, outline that and read a lot and write every day. So I guess you have to have your story outline set out so you know where you're going, you have that plan and, you know, reading a lot. You can see what other people are doing. You can see how stories are put together. And, of course, write every day. I guess, as a writer, that's probably what you want to do. <laughs> Don't play too much Minecraft. Oi! Uh, so, um... What they've just been doing just now was clearing out some space for Glader to rest because uh, there was quite a, quite a few trees that came up right to the edge before. This really means a lot. Um, where next? Uh, wrong card? E. Great minds think alike. Okay. So. What was the so it was was it called the Dragon War? Oh, I should probably um hmm. some people are missing out. Let me just grab this uh go gaming. I see general. I don't know if I can mention everyone. Hello. Where's, where's the rock? There it is. Oh yeah, shaders make a difference. So yeah, all these um, 
blocks here are just placeholders. I think we actually have a sign that says exactly that. These are just placeholders. Okay. Thanks, data screw. Um, all right, let's go back to the top. Uh, that's interesting. Um, is there an actual crater in the city? Uh, the lake. Very good. Oh yes. So this is Belgabad, who at the time of the Dragon War was the largest dragon alive. Ah, he sees it. So there have been some more questions on Discord that I've been ignoring. Uh... I will get back to those in a second. So, Shadow Shadow Two or Four says, "I have a question for Christopher. What does he think about fan fictions, and does he read them? Read some about his own stories?" Excuse me while I take a sip of a cup of tea. I'm sorry if you heard that. I don't want to turn this into an ASMR video. So Christopher says, I never read fanfic, but I'm happy people enjoy writing it. Probably put this in gaming as well. Um, to do. Belgabad is one big dragon. Very true. We we wanted to make it so that you could walk through his ribs. Like so. Look at that. Fancy. Where next? Um, ooh, where next? Where next? If anyone has a suggestion. Ooh, let's go to the bullseye. Ooh. There's too much to see. Uh, Red Arrow 646 on Discord asks, has Christopher said how long he's played Minecraft for? Sorry for that pause, I was drinking a cup of tea. Now to answer your question, he said, um, somewhere on Twitter that he's been playing since they gave out free beta testing um, versions of the game. So that would have been, I mean, probably even before they had the website Minecraft.net, it was probably just Notch giving out the game on um, his forums or whatever. So yeah, quite a long time. He's OG.
And there's a cave over here. This is for Morzen's dragon, which we do not know the name of, of course, because the name was banished. Very interesting. Welcome back, Tinarim. Glad you could join us. And Nether Hero, welcome back as well. <laughs> okay, we can have a non-canon location, Palinia's Castle. Water seems to be a little bit broken over here. I guess we'll have to fix that at some point. So this was made long before 1.13, so I'm not even sure if we'll be able to do the same thing again if it ever breaks, which is okay because I saved a schematic. Because I you know, water, you know, you never know what happens with water. So I saved a schematic so we can always paste it back in if something happens. Of course, I'd rather not, but you know, you have to protect it. It's kind of creepy. Uh, now there's not much to see here, so where do we go next? Um, I guess we could visit Urbane. Uh, ND80 asks, what is stopping the water from just flowing back in again? I have turned off water flow in this area. Bellatuna. It's a relatively uh, simple city compared to all the other ones. Not mentioned much in the books or not really described.
Okay, to everyone watching, just to clarify, I'm saying not really, as in there's not any on MC Allegasia. Not that there are none in Allegasia. Oh no, title screw. He's gone to Tarnag. Although I do like this statue. And since since we don't have all that much space, you know, being Minecraft, I think two domes is actually a good idea. Uh, Sam on Discord says, burning planes are incomplete, I believe. Um, let's have a look. Burning planes. No, no, this is exactly how they look. Just kidding, of course they're incomplete. We will finish those later. But weep, for they do not.
Oh, that's nice. I like how there's been some veins of granite and diorite mixed in. Ubu bean, as Nick Radical would say. So basically, our process for building is just paste a bunch of things in the sky. Ooh. Yes, several shades. That was actually going to be my next question. Very exciting. So where is he at the moment? Still at Orthiad, perhaps? Indeed. So if you have a look at this, uh, this green wall here, this is quite interesting because we have a picture of Urubane, a canon picture, where we can see these um, pillars from this perspective. So we're trying to place them as accurately as possible. Uh, these are the green elven towers. Never mind.
Sam Sonch, Sam Sony T, or something along those lines, on Discord asks, "Are you planning to? My apologies. Are you planning to have redstone traps or anything of the sort in Urbane or anywhere for that matter? So already we do have some uh, redstone-based mechanics and traps. A lot of those would be in the catacombs under Dressleona, uh, but they are quite old. They might not work anymore." Uh, for the most part, I think the developers are going to create traps that don't require redstone, so it'll be more um, integrated mechanics. But we will have like redstone doors and so, on, so forth. Tartasku is very funny. Where else? Um, where else can we go? If anyone on Discord has a suggestion. Um, I know, we've been to Dorth. Ooh. should put the full title there. Um, where else do we go? I don't know if we actually have a warp for it, so I'll just go to Terence Ford. Sorry, I'm just teleporting you because I might have missed one of you. Uh, Red Arrow 646 says Gilead. Yes, we should probably visit Gilead next. That would be a good option. So, uh, Floof has a question about uh, inspiration from other books and series, which has been covered quite a bit before. We could possibly move this a bit further up the mountain, I suppose.
Uh, Tartaskoot asks, well, actually, that's a private question, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yes, retired builders are able to join the server. Uh, retired builders have full premium perks. Although Torchwood might have been offline for such a long time that he doesn't actually have a rank. Although congratulations on getting the name Torch, I would have thought that would have been taken. Torch? No. Uh, so I'm looking at... Torch's name history, and I don't see Torchwood RC, so I can't give Torch a rank because this is not the same account that had the rank. You'll need to contact me to get your rank back. Or you can log in with your Torchwood RC account. I mean, we probably could make it a bit tighter. This could be built out a bit, and that could be built out a bit, and then the uh, Edox Hill could go here if we made that a little bit flatter. Just brings it a bit higher. offline. Well, we better find another location. Where do we go next? Where do we go next? Have we been here? Uh, Sirius asks, have they been to Arrows yet? Yes, we have been to Arrows. It should be towards the beginning of the stream.
sorry that I'm being pretty quiet. Uh, let me just check Discord. What are there any questions? No new questions. Uh, so to anyone watching the stream, uh, if you go down to the description, there will be a link to a Discord server. You can use that to join the MCL Gauger Discord server. Just go to the MCL Gauger channel and you can ask any questions you might have there and we will answer them. Uh, sorry about this object object nonsense appearing on the stream. Just blame Discord. I'll have to try and fix that at some point. So if I, if I update the URL that we're using, it fixes it, but then any new messages that come up will just be uh, object object. Uh, Red Arrow 646 actually has a very good question. Uh, they ask, do you feel you have a deep enough understanding of yourself to know your own true name, given you were in, in Allegasia? I will ask. And then Christopher's response is, yes, I don't think I could write what I do if I didn't. Now that's deep. C3. Nah. Ooh, Feinstein is pretty nice.
have you been everywhere yet? Uh, did he answer this question? Where was it? Oh no. Yeah, so we've answered all the questions so far, so feel free to ask more in Discord. So happy. I don't, don't know what to say. Give me something to say, and then I'll say it. In the meantime, I'll find out where we can go next. Oh, I know. We'll do Gilead. Chuffed. Oh yes, I'm rather chuffed. <laughs> hey, okay, Melon Gilead is canon now.
How funny. Ah, we think Obsidian. Crying Obsidian. Ah, I see. So I haven't, I don't really play much Minecraft anymore, so I, I don't really keep up with all the new blocks. That could be interesting for something. Well, I'll leave it up for the builders. Um, where else can we go? Did we do Delta Rad? No, we didn't. Uh, Dark Rebel Dragon says, could you change settings so chat is more visible? Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Um, chat settings. I don't know, do we increase the width? Probably not. Is there a reset to default? Damn it. What was it before? 360? Um, text size, 100%. Uh, what do you want me to change to make it easier for you to read? Or do you just want all the chat there? What does delay do? Does that mean it stays for longer or does it delay it? Pen 
ending. That's stupid. Who would use that? I'm just wondering if I can show it on screen for longer. Unfocused height. 180 pixels. Unfocused height. I'm not sure what that changed, what that changes. Is that easier to read as well if it's larger? Anyway, what did I miss? Uh, that that doesn't change anything or not what we want yeah I miss the old days where we do a team build and complete a city in a day Let me see if I can just bring up the link. Building headath.
Oh dear, it looks like Minecraft is not responding. Should I wait for it to respond or should I just try and restart it? I'm probably going to just restart it, it's taking too long. I wonder how this happened. How could this happen to me? So, um, how is everyone? I hope you're doing well. Happy New Year. Uh, nice weather we're having. And so what do you think about all the things that are happening in the world at the moment? Oh, thank God. There it is. Don't have to talk about anything now. Minecraft's back. Okay. Uh, Sirius asks, where is the new spawn hub supposed to be based at, or is it just an incredible build to be used for spawn? It's pretty much just an incredible build to be used for spawn. Um, that was replaced recently, just because we wanted to move the portals a bit closer to where the player spawns, make it a bit easier to join, whereas the old lobby had to fall down. It uh, was a bit of a barrier to entry. So in the new one, you can just walk straight through. And then there's also a lot more interesting stuff to fly around with Elytra. If you have premium, you can fly around with Elytra there. Nice. And we're back. I wonder what happened while we were away. Let's find out where everyone is. Or, alternatively, let's find out where the most important person is. And it looks like we're at Siltherin. Siltherim is also quite large. Probably talking to Andy there. Uh, Sirius, that is correct. I believe we based it on... Um, well, there's a mountain range in China that we based it on, and it turns out that was also the inspiration for Pandora in Avatar, the James Cameron film. So we added those... Um, magnetic formations as well.
Here we go, serious. Uh, so, Tigridastore on Discord asks if he's go if Palin is going to come back at any time, and yes, he will. Uh, I know for a fact he'll be back at some point soon to film something for his website and his YouTube channel, and we've of course invited him back to um, build whatever he wants as well. So, anyone on Discord, is there any locations you want Chris to visit before he leaves? And thanks for that question, Sam Sony T. I've sent it to Chris as well. Uh, exists, we have visited Coasta, just briefly. So to answer your question, uh, Christopher uses historical sources, wordplay, and his invented languages to come up with names. Yazuak. So to answer your question, that one anime fan, yes, uh, Murtag will be involved in the fifth book, but Murtag will also get his own book as well. Ford, TM, Tarnag, Silthium, we've been to those. Uh, Reefstone, maybe. Oh man.
there we go. Uh, Sirius asks, is Yazowak built as post-Urgle attack, or is it cleaned up with the bodies removed? So it's built pre-Urgle attack. Most of the things in Entelegasia are all the locations are picked and choose from their timelines to get the best, most representative um, location that we can. So for example, uh, Dura Ariba was built uh, after the Dragon War, so it's been destroyed. And... Carver Hall, for example, was built pre um, Rider War, I think it was called. Anyway, pre the events of Eldest, so it's not ruined. I'm sorry about the chat, it's quite messy with all the extra commands in there. That might help. But now I can't see when people move to different locations. Where else? Where else do you want to go? We've... Oh, Petrovia. Probably not. Nada, Nadindel. So if anyone wants a screenshot, uh, join the hub now. IP is play.mcalagasia.com. That's play.mcalagasia.com. I'll send that in chat. Um, and no, damn it. So the problem about being a project leader is that my location doesn't reset when I go into the lobby. Now, that's by design, of course, but that means sometimes I accidentally walk back into the portal. So where do we want to go for this screenshot? Excellent suggestion. Welcome, welcome everyone. So, um, gather around. Should I bring some other accounts on?
Ah, uh, yeah, anyone can come on. It's in the lobby, so just join and... I might have crashed the lobby with that. If we wait a couple, oh no, there it goes. People were just trying to rush it, so. Alright, looks like, yeah, this lobby has crashed. Well, there will be plenty of opportunity for screenshots with Christopher. I'm sure we can do it again in the future. So I guess for now we'll probably just do a screenshot on the MCLegager server, the um, staff server. And then you can come on later for a screenshot with Christopher. Uh, he'll be filming for his YouTube channel here later. We are aware of the server crash. It's coming back up. All right, you should be able to connect now. Um, so who is taking the picture? Ah, <laughs> nice. Alright, if no one's taking the picture, I'll just bring an account in. Log out, have to re remember my password for the other account. 
I will be with you momentarily. Alright, logging in. So if anyone's trying to join, you've got a few more minutes. Hello there. All right. Let's turn off these trails. All right. Very nice. Actually, oh, I should probably load in some of this background. Come on, load up, load up, load up, load up. There we go.
Very. Well, this was fun. I'm glad we could do this. It's been a long time coming. Oh, um... Let's see what we can do. So probably on the steps of Dressleona. Let me just load up some background. All right. And load the spire. Thank you. Okay. Uh, tighter screw, come down a little bit further to the front. There we go, that's good. That looks excellent. Ah, uh, there's Chris with his armor again. Alright, ready? Not even looking at the camera. Boom. I'm not even looking. Why? Controlling two Minecraft clients, it's a bit tedious. Uh, come on, Optifine, fantastic. All right, we've got a few options there.
Ah. Sorry, I've been a bit quiet for the past few minutes. Um, wow. Wow, that was fun. And yeah, so Christopher will be back at some point to do a video tour for his YouTube channel. And you can all join us again then. That'd be amazing. Well, until then, thanks for joining us. Thank you to Christopher for coming. And of course, for creating the world of Allegasia that we have so faithfully recreated here. Thank you to all the staff and builders uh, who, for building. And that's it. I think we can probably shut the server down now. We have accomplished the goal. Now I still need to finish it. Yeah. Anyway. And thank you, EZ, for thanking me. That always feels good. I don't think there's any more questions at all in Discord or on YouTube. So, yeah. Thanks for coming, everyone. I, I guess I'll probably end the stream here. Uh, Christopher is long gone, so... All right. See you all next time. Don't forget to tune in because uh, Christopher will be doing another tour at some point and he will be recording as well. And if you want to join us, uh, like Tardis Crew and Andy80 and EZ, who just left, and Torch and everyone else, uh, feel free to do so when the time comes. Thank you all and goodbye. <laughs>